All right, let's go to Johnson City, where ETSU men's basketball looks to up their record to 8-1 at home, taking on the Mercer Bears. Bob Hoffman squad and Stefan Jelks got it going from the perimeter early, as he confidently strokes one in. But then it was the Bucks who ran things up offensively. Gilon Gwynn from the corner for Trey. He had two of those on the day, that one coming in the first half. Still early in this game. Coming off the bench, Daryl Strawberry's son, Jordan. He made a lot of jumpers in the first half. Would cool down in the second. Deuce Bellow hot from the start with a slam dunk here. A couple Sports Center top 10 dunks, and you get another look at it. Right side, rim rattling rock off the block. And the Bucks trailed for most of the first half because of looks like this. Strawberry, the back door that was inside to Rivers. And underneath, Mercer doing their job. Still in the first half, Strawberry, this is where he started to cool down a little bit. And the Bears get this one picked off. TJ Cromer able to go coast to coast, take it all the way. Cromer had 20 points in this game. Gilon Gwynn had 18. There's another one of his three-pointers. That came early in the second half. Mercer, though, able to grab the lead. It was Ethan Stair made back-to-back -back buckets here on the turnaround Got it to bang in, and Mercer with a 42-41 lead. Bucks down four, Cromer again on the drive, likes it with his right hand. They wanted the foul to the ETSU coaches, and with 2.22 left, the Bucks coming down from a five-point deficit. Gwynn tying it up with just 28 seconds. He's the guy that's typically going to get that shot at the end of the game. And then to overtime, we go Lester Wilson. Able to cash in and give the Bucks a three-point lead. Mercer, though, would end up tying up the game, and Gilon Gwynn would take the honors at the end. Right hand going to his left. Got it to go, shrugging his shoulders, just saying, that's what I do. Here's another shot of it. Gwynn with the ball. Final offensive ETSU possession. All smiles from the crowd here in front of 3,000. One last chance. Strawberry throwing it in. Tipped off a couple ETSU players. Stayed on the floor. Pete McLean, the last one to touch it. And ETSU beats Mercer 65-63.